Big Lou, Big Lou Barbecue, and other things I want to do. And let me tell you what I've got going on for you. I got something in the mail from a YouTube friend of mine. Yeah, somebody I met on YouTube. Lives way up in New Jersey. It's Biggs at Biggs Home Cooking. He sent me something. I didn't know he was going to send it. Let me tell you a story. Several months ago, uh, he knows that I collect some Coleman lanterns, and I got to talking with another fella that collects Coleman lanterns. You know, Johnny over at uh, Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine in um, San Antonio, Texas. He and I were talking. Chris Biggs uh, chimed in on it and uh, said he needed a lantern. I said, hey, man, don't buy one. I'll send you one because I have several. And so I sent him one, and um, I didn't expect anything from it. I was just sending him an old lantern, you know. And um, I, I didn't expect anything from it. Well, lo and behold, last weekend, I get a package from Amazon. I'm up at the Walmart, as people say around here. I know it's Walmart, but a lot of people around here say Walmart. Like Walmart owns it. It's possessive or something. Anyway, I was at the Walmart. And my wife calls me, what would you order from Amazon now? I said, I didn't order anything. She says, you got a package from Amazon, what'd you order? I said, I didn't order anything. She says, it's addressed to you. I said, I didn't order anything. Well, she opened it just to find out what it was. I had no idea. But when I got home, guess what, y'all? I had a package that looks like this. I didn't know who it was from, and I didn't order it either. But she had opened it. She had already told me what it was. I took the stuffing out of it to tell you. I got this cool CD from the band from Chris Biggs, and check this out. Hey, the first name's Chris. They call him Biggs as a nickname. I got this cool Lodge grilling pan. Hey, and see you. This cool Lodge grilling pan. I think I'd mentioned maybe on one of Biggs' channels that, that the pan was cool and I ought to get one. I, I hadn't thought much about it since then, but I tell you what, this carbon steel grilling pan is cool. And, um, I'm real proud of it. Real, real proud of it. Uh, Biggs, thank you so much. Um, it's taken me a week to get this video done, but uh, I can't wait to use it. I can't wait to use it. I got some catfish in my pond just waiting to get seared up on this on top of my Weber grill or whatever grill I decide to put it on. Uh, vegetables too. Lodge, uh, it says a seasoned steel outdoor grilling pan. All right. I'm going to have a good time with this. And you know what else you can do? You can get your two bricks, put them under there like that, and you can just pour charcoal down on the ground, set that on two bricks, and you can grill right there on the ground with this grilling pan. You don't even need a grill, y'all. Just need this pan. It makes it simple. All right, you probably turn it upside down, grill like that. I don't think Lodge would recommend it, but you can sit and pour charcoal on the ground, set that up on two bricks. You don't even need a fancy smancy grill. That'll do it for you. Get some burgers cooked real quick, just like that. All right, so I got the uh, CD, I got the grilling pan. Thank you, Biggs. A gift for you. It says, hey, Big Lou, hope you enjoy Biggs. I do, and I will, and thank you. All right, got something else to tell you, too. It was one year ago this month that I got my first shout out. I had less than 50 subscribers at the time. I think it was around 44, 46 ish, or maybe even 45, right there in the middle. Less than 50 subscribers. And I got a shout out uh, from Daddy Cooks, no less. And my subscribers went up. And my channel started taking off last April because of that one shout out. And so I like to give shout outs. And so what I want to do right now is I want to give. Five shout outs to five channels I watch that have less than 500 subscribers. All right? And so I'm calling it the sub 500 sub shout out. Five under 500. Now, one of them was supposed to be on the list, but he re got above 500 recently. So when I went to check the other day, I'm like, ooh, he's above 500. I won't have to give him a shout out. So I won't. I'll just give him an allude to his channel. All right? He has a pit, he has a dog, and he barbecues, and his mama calls him the same name my mama calls me, Rob. By the way, those who don't know, Lou is the first syllable of my last name, Lewis. My first name's Robert, all right? Um, I was the oldest of three brothers, and I got called Big Lewis, and um, that got shortened over the year, and Big Lou just became a, uh, a nickname I have, all right? But my first name's actually Robert. So... I won't mention his channel. I just alluded to it. He has a dog, he barbecues, and he has a pit. Got that? All right. 
uh, his channel description will be down below too. Now here's the five under 500 that I watch that I'd like you to check out. If you like them, subscribe to them. Now I'm not telling you to subscribe to them if you don't like them or just because I said so. If you like them, subscribe to them. But I'm telling you what, I like these channels. All right, the first one I want to mention is um, Big W Barbecue. I don't know why I had to look up my list. I know it all. I got to memorize. Big W Barbecue. This guy's great. Get you a pen and paper. Take notes. He's going to tell you the science and the stuff behind barbecue when he's cooking. Check out Big W Barbecue. Plus, he's got Big in his name and he's got a W in his name. I like channels with Big in the name, like Bigs who sent me the thing, you know? All right. Provo Pit Barbecue. Just found this channel recently, and uh, I tell you what, I'm really enjoying it. Pro Provo Pit Barbecue. I think he's out of Utah. I'm really enjoying watching this channel. All right, another one. Competition Guy. Just changed his channel name. All right. Um, he's been watching and commenting on YouTube videos for a long time, but he just got his channel started uh, several months ago, maybe since the first of the year, something like that, and it was just going by his name. But he had a Vanderweird name. I'm a, sorry, weird name. It's a good name. It's a Dutch name, Kent Vanderweird. So his cha he's changed his channel to Daddy Dutch Barbecue and Cooking. Check out Daddy Dutch Barbecue and Cooking. All right, now. Red Banks, Red Banks, great guy. He cooks a lot of pizza. He's a military guy, vet or whatever, and he cooks a lot of pizza, but he does a lot of barbecue too. Loves to cook pizza on the barbecue grill. I don't, I'm not a big pizza guy. I've got one of those kettle pizza kits for my Weber and I have cooked pizza. I'm not very good at it. Everything I'm learning about cooking pizza recently is coming from Red Banks channel. Check it out, Red Banks. And the other one, he's a Canadian, a Canadian, a Canuck, whatever you want to call him. He's a good guy, though. Scott at In For The Grill. All right, check out In For The Grill. Uh, great channel. That's five channels, less than 500 subs. They should have more. Check out all of those sub 500 sub channels, all right? Uh, seven and a half minutes for a mail call and a, a shout out video but thank you. All right. All the channels I mentioned will be linked down below and I'll have an Amazon link to that grill pan. If you think that's a cool thing I do. Thanks Biggs. Check out Biggs home cooking. He needs to make more videos and make them soon. Big Lou barbecue.